Hey guys, it's Colonel Coffee here from 221B Gaming, and once again we are back on the Quantum Break app, as we're calling it. Um, and this time we're going to be learning how to control time, and then we're going to be quizzed on it. So there's there's some gameplay involved here, and there is a bit of spoilers on the abilities that you're going to get to use. So I'm just warning you guys on that. But it doesn't give too much away. It's only the one scenario that's played out. So I'm going to let you guys, first of all, master your time powers. Okay, so as you can see, it gives us an example in the background, and it gives us a description on the right. So the first ability here is Time Stop. Hit enemies with Time Stop to slow them down and supercharge your bullets. Inside the Time Stop's area of effect, time runs slower and bullets gain power. So you can clearly see around the enemy there, there's like a like an aura, a circular aura. That's obviously the radius of this ability. Now when that happens, obviously time is slowed. The guy who's inside the, the bubble can't do anything to the normal speed and your bullets are stronger after they enter the aura. So I think I hope that's covered. Second one is time blast. So this one is pretty straightforward. You see this kind of ability in a lot of games. You just blast time forward and it knocks enemies down. Uh, so time blast. This breaks time in a localized area, releasing a fatal projectile attack upon enemies. This knocks them back, slows and damages them. So it says fatal projectile attack. So we, I'm assuming it'll kill slightly weaker enemies and maybe if they're stronger, it might just knock them back, slow, slows them down and damage them over time or or whatnot, but that's pretty straightforward. So that was Time Blast. Okay, so this one's Time Dodge. As you can see there, it was pretty straightforward that one. He just forward forwarded himself in time um, in order to get closer to his target quicker, which has worked out really well for him holding a shotgun. So Time Dodge, it allows you to quickly move a short distance as time briefly slows down during and after the Time Dodge when transitioning into aiming, time dodge allows Jack to pull off spectacular slow-mo enemy kills. So the slow-mo enemy kills is pretty much what you've just seen there. The guy's about to reload, you time dodge forward and catch him off guard up close. So I, ho I hope that's pretty self-explanatory there. So this one's time shield, so we're on the defensive this time and this one looks like it's going to be very useful. So time shield, create a protective shield around yourself to reflect incoming bullets. Great for reloading Jack's weapon and health under enemy fire. Time shield also knocks <coughs> excuse me. Time shield also knocks back nearby enemies when triggered. So as you can see, when they're shooting at the shield, the bullets are they cannot touch Jack. They kinda bounce back towards the enemy. So if used correctly, this could be pretty dangerous. And obviously it's gonna be one of the most used abilities because it's, you know, if you're in an open area, you can cast this thing out while you reload so you're not taking damage and also regen your health a little bit. So that one's, that one's quite important. Okay, so Time Vision. This one, again, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this gives Jack a comprehensive tactical view of enemies, environments, and useful objects, but Time Vision only works while he's standing still. When he moves, Time Vision starts to fade. So as you can see on the screen, when he activates Time Vision, he can see things through walls, he can locate nearby useful objects and stashes and stuff like that. So again, that was quite a useful one. No, never. And then finally, Time Rush. Freeze time, allowing Jack to move freely and quickly around the environment to escape, position for attack, or avoid obstacles. Time Rush can be combined with a melee attack to take down enemies. So that's kind of what we're seeing here. At the end of his Time Rush, he managed to coordinate with a, a melee attack and he takes the enemy down quite roughly so I assume it's quite a powerful attack and it does make you move a lot faster or maybe not so much faster but you're moving while nobody else is so again that one could be quite useful in certain scenarios so I'm not sure if that's all the abilities in the game but it's definitely all the ones that we're getting for this little mini quiz thing so I hope you guys have memorized that I'm going to do the quiz now the test and it's going to give us certain scenarios based on that one mission and then it's going to give us multiple choice of four answers we have to choose the correct ability to use in the certain situation so if you guys have memorized those powers i want to see if you can get it all right while i'm playing through i might not even get it all right i've only tried this once i'm not sure if it changes each time so uh we'll, we'll see here we go
Okay, so now it's time for you to take on Monarch. When the video pauses, choose a time power to use. Answer quickly and accurately. So the quicker you answer, I assume the more points you get, because there is a leaderboard at the end of this. You'll lose points as time passes and for wrong answers. If you get stuck, hints will appear, but they'll cost you. Okay, so Monarch's forces are coming with time power. Which time power do you choose to defend? Uh, shield. Okay. Okay, so we got shield right. So as you can clearly see, there is quite a fair bit of gameplay here. Alright, so this one's kind of a spoiler here. Which time, power, which time power will close the gap between you and the enemy? So that's time dodge. We've seen that in the... Uh, in the rehearsal kind of thing. The, uh, the revision. Pop the time vision there. What time power lets you scope out the environment for useful information or in items? It's got me vision. You're outnumbered. How do you slow down the Monarch Operator? Uh, stop. Oh! <laughs> okay, that one I didn't know. That was just kind of a guess, but I think... Wait. Okay, so there was multiple choices there. A lot of them we never seen in the revision, so I hope that they're in the real game as well. There's loads of abilities to choose from. How can you break time in an area and damage nearby enemies? It's got to be blast in it. He's almost dead. See, now that would annoy me having the enemy mode like traveling through time as well. Okay, which time power will help you get up the stairs quickly? Uh. Oh. Okay, dodge again. Oh no, rush! Rush was the. F okay, yeah, that was silly. So rush is where it stops time and you can run faster. Dodge is where you dash forward. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're coming up to the last one. Bullets are low. What time power will help you find a weapon cache? It's got to be vision again, yeah. Okay, and there you have it. So there's the table there. We have high scores. Uh, I don't know if that's just an example or what, but... Okay, so, Colonel Coffee, minus 20,424. And those guys are getting 142. See, I'm not really sure if that's legit or not. I don't know what the deal is there. I don't know how I'm still negative. But, yeah. So that was the quiz. Testing your time skills. And master time powers. Okay, so let me just double check here. So time stop, time ball. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I think my game's frozen here anyway. Okay, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, the uh, the quiz. Let me know how you did in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe as always. And when the game does come out, I will be bringing you live streams and walkthroughs and stuff because i am looking forward to this game it's been a while since a decent single player like this so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you next time